Well, hello, YouTubers. Hey, I just got another stick about half ready here. Still got to knock the inner bark off and get it polished up. I'm going to use some 150 grain to start with, go down to 220 on this one. Some are going to really like this and some are going to not like it. But if you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you don't, I don't care. That's still good. I want your opinion. Give me a thumbs down. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed and want to see more of these walking stick videos. This is going to be something different on the end of this stick. And I want you to stay tuned at least and see what it is when I get to it. It's going to be different from anything I've made before. So I have an idea that you're going to like it. So stay tuned. We'll see what that's going to be. I've already got the outer bark off. I got a little inner bark showing up there. We're going to basically smooth it out as best we can with a 150 on this sander. I got 220 on this one. But I'm going to speed up the process so you don't have to suffer through it. But I'm going to show you that I am done it. And then we'll get on to this project. Okay, I think we finally got the 150 done. I'm going to go over that one time with the 220. I'm not going to show that. Then we're going to come right back and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. We're going to do some fractal burning. And what I'm doing now, I'm putting my solution. It's a baking soda solution, one spoonful per pint of water. And I've got that applied now. I have my probes and machine in front of me. I'm standing on a rubber pad. And I'm also going to use these rubber gloves. They're just ordinary lineman's gloves. But that's a safety precaution that everyone should take. What I'm going to do to stabilize this, I'm going to get a clamp. And what we do is clamp this down so it don't jump around. And I'm going to clamp it right to the bench. And I'll clamp about that four down. Now that's real solid. Now I'm going to stop and, 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 I'll see, that can, uh, that, that's pretty good yet. So we'll be able to see what I'm doing. But I may, uh, I think I'll still move the camera just a little bit. So we'll just move it down. I'm going to shut it off and move it down. Here we are with the camera, uh, right on the end here, and this clamp is holding it down solid to where it don't try to move when I put the probe down. But you see I have the two probes ready here now, and I'm getting them out, and you'll see them real soon. We'll set the probes down right there and see if we have enough water there. Probes down, power is on. Yeah, it is coming on immediately there. We do have some fumes coming off there, but we're going to hold on. Very good. Very good. They're building trees on there that looks uh, wonderful. Now with that, when they start marking, what they're doing is just burning a deeper ridge down between each other. So I'm going to shut that off about now. Power off and probes up. Now what I'll do now is get one around the side and one over here and let's see if that will do it. Probes are down, power on. Yeah, it's working. Working real good. Uh, they are adding to one another. There's going to be something special at the end of this stick that's going to kind of go along with this. Okay. Power off. Probes up. Now, I'll, I'll get one here before we turn it over. And one up here at the side here. 
and we'll see how that does. Probes down, power on. Oh, that's that's really getting fancy. Okay. Uh, that's about it for that one. So power off, probes up. Now, I think we're going to go, before we shut down here, I'm going to go down a little bit further here. Yeah, I think that would be enough. Let's just put the probes away over here. And I'm going to take the gloves off right now because, remember, I have a foot pedal that controls all the power to this thing. I'm going to break the clamp and see how that done? That went around that far and then went around that side. Now the last of the burning was right here and right here, so we got this to go. I have a wet brush here, so I'm going to get just a little bit more of that. Not a lot, but I uh, don't want it to get it too dry there. So now, put the gloves back on, pick up the probes, and I want a probe to go up the top here and about three inches down. Uh, probes down, power on. And let it go till it decides to light up on both ends, and it'll generally do that. It won't always do that when it starts up, but that's not a bad sign. I'm going to let them carry on till the sparks go out, and then we will, there it is, the sparks are out. They power off and probes up. Now I'm going to go around to the side where there's no uh, trees growing, and maybe touch way down here. Let's see if it will conduct that far. Remember the power or the electricity is trying to get from one probe tip to the other via through the wood and water. So uh, probes down, power on. It's going to work. It's trying to set circling around, forming the tree-like structure on both sides and angles. Now let's turn the power off and pick up the probes. That's not too bad. Let's go to the opposite sides and try probes down, power on. That works. That works. Okay. Now it's stopped. Power off. Probes down, power on, I don't know what happened there, I can't see underneath, uh, but it's definitely drawing a pattern all the way around. Okay, let's power off, and I'm going to look at what we have. So I'm taking the gloves off, and I'm going to turn it a little bit. That's where I had to probe, way on the other side of the stick, and it's got some visions, at least that far and down a little bit. I think I'm going to stop it right where we got it. I have a special topper on this stick that's going to go real well with these lightning strikes I have on the top of it. We'll get there on the bench and see what that looks like. Okay, here we are on the bench, and I'm gonna show you how I fit this on top of this stick. Now what I do first is establish the angle that I want it. I wanted this to set about level, so when I'm holding this stick up right, then I take a pencil mark, and I kind of mark me a mark here, cut that off to where it's approximately level, with my garage floor or whatever. The stick has a slight curve to it this way, which that will be the front. So I have a slight angle that you're looking at right there, 
which that marks the front, which right between the teeth of the skull, you can consider that the front. So now everything is fit up pretty good, but as we can see here, when I poured the epoxy, so I left it a little bit below level of the mold. That way I have a slight edge all the way around here. I'm wanting the stick to go down in that. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch lip here is not enough to really secure to the stick. So what I want to do is drill down just a little into that skull. And what I've done, I've took my V-block here, my wooden clamp, and I've clamped the skull up into my V-groove here so as to hold it while it's centered and level here uh, with the base of the skull here so that I can uh, drill into it a little bit. That gives something for the stick to go into. So let's uh, start this up. You can tell by the resin coming off, it's uh, it's cutting the hole really nice with that forstner bit. I think that will be fine. I'm gonna take one look at it and unclamp it real quick. We're gonna go with that. That lets it sit in on the front side of the skull. That's sitting down almost a quarter of an inch and an eighth inch in the, in the back here. So that's gonna give that a good hold on the stick, plus the uh, two-part epoxy weld that we're gonna put on it will will keep it from coming off then and uh, that'll be mounted securely. So let's um, get over and get it fit on the stick now. Now, I have to spend a little bit of time in my uh, carving room to show you what I've done here. I'm gonna go around here and just kind of get me a depth mark that uh, I want to grind off the edge of this. And you'll see I'm going all the way around the stick here. But uh, I got to thinking I better not leave this step out. I want to share it with you. Because what I've done is took a, uh, uh, a compass and I've set it on inch and a quarter, which is the diameter of my hole. And I, I circled that with pencil around here, so now I can look at the end while I'm putting the, while I'm grinding this corner away, and I can watch my uh, one and a quarter inch circle as I go around, and I can see a little of it. You know, I can see see the end as I go around. If I put a mark, uh, use a marker and just go right around the edge of it here, and I'll know when I get to that point. So I'm going to start the grinder and then, or the uh, Dremel, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. That is down on there pretty flat all the way around. That's a pretty good fit, so let's just leave it at that and go over on the bench and uh, we'll see what it looks like over there. Well, here we are. Uh, I've tried some stain on this piece of stick. This is the same wood that I cut off the end and that's what you want to test your uh, different stains and whatever on because different sticks, different wood. Uh, some come out darker than others. And you see, I want the uh, fractal burning to show up pretty good. It shows up, but on this particular stick, it don't show up good enough. I am going to just start out with clear poly. So let's do that. And uh, let's see, I don't have a eye bolt on the end there so I'm going to get that done and then we'll put some poly on it. Okay I think we're all ready now to to apply this poly so let's just brush it on and uh, that stick is going to be clear from now on because 
you can't put stain over the top of the poly. If we want a different color now, we'd have to paint it. And I'm certainly not going to do that. And I love the looks of the grain in the wood already. And I'm glad that uh, I decided to leave it clear uh, because it is a little darker than normal wood. And if I put the oak on it, for one thing, it wouldn't look like oak and it would be so dark, I know you wouldn't be able to see the the fractal burn. Uh, you wouldn't be able to appreciate that near as much. So we're not going to do that. Getting a nice even coat on it with this brush. We don't even have to have it covered 100% with the brush because we are going to do this. Now, we'll just like use a glove like a squeegee and just squeegee that right on down. Get too much, I'll take my tablecloth and get some of it, some of it off if I found I've got too much. But that's going to coat it real well, just going up and down the stick. And uh, it, it wipes very well. I call this my wipe on poly, as some might see already. Um, I don't know if you should. You can legally call it, not politically correct to call it wipe on poly because it's not. And I guess whoever makes wipe on poly would really prefer you to just to buy wipe on poly and not uh, use regular poly for that purpose, but I see nothing wrong with it. Now, as you can see, I did put a, a hanging eyelet on the end of it, and uh, I'm going to go back now and hang it up, and once it gets dry, it's going to be ready for the embellishment and a paragord wrap. What I'm going to do now is put the skull in there, here and clamp it up, drill right in that center, quarter of an inch. What happens is you'll be able to see a crystal clear hole right there in the center. Let's go over to the bench now. We'll start mounting this on the stick. Okay, now here we are on the bench. I have my stick all prepped. We pre-fitted pre that earlier. And then I have Forstner bit out in the end of this that just fit right on the end of the stick. And I have that other quarter inch deep hole right in the center there. And we're gonna fill this with epoxy and put it right down on the stick. So now I have my weld stuff out here. I'm using two part epoxy, clear JB weld as you see here, link down below. Now I have cardboard that's had several coats of epoxy on it already. I just continue to use that. Now I want to mix up an ample amount of that and I'm going to put the same amount right beside of it and I determine that to be about the same right there. Now we want to mix it real good. I'm going to set this down here so I can see it, but I'll just put a coat right around that surface there. Now then right here, We'll just fill a stick full of that stuff. It'll run right in that quarter inch hole circled around here. We don't want to fill this little cavity up. Or it'll run out, squirt out all over the place. Tend to get too much in there to start with. If you think it is, well, just wipe it all out. We've got enough in there to hold it now. We'll just stick it right on the top. push it right down on that ledge, you'll see a little silver button there in the top where that epoxy is. If not clear, that will be that will be dry and clear inside there. And it'll just look like a little silver button if you look straight down in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's in the center of that stick and it's straight into that curve. All we gotta do is lay that aside and let it dry. It's a, this five minute epoxy, I'll give it 30 minutes. Uh, after five minutes, I think you could, I've tested it, you could 
pick the whole stick up by the skull and it wouldn't come off. But I'm just hesitant to believe that, that it's dry in five minutes. I don't think it's totally cured. So let's give it 30 minutes. We'll be back and I'm going to put a Paragord wrap right on the grip and we'll be done with this one. I've determined I want that comfortable grip right about in there. Any height is going to be very comfortable right there because that's where the uh, bend starts. So I'm going to mark that. That's where I'm going to start at and that line, that little pencil line is going to be covered up. About a 36 inches there I have and I'm going to cut that off. I want to hold those ends even. And I'm going to pull this down. I got a loop here. And say that loop is going to be longer than, come out longer than my handle. So right there is the pencil mark. And I got that much. I want way enough. And I got this cord here. That's plenty long on this end. Got me a couple little pieces of, uh, of painter's tape here. And I'm going to, I'm going to tape this down just to hold it on that stick and so it don't flop all over the place. And I want to double that up. I don't want to wrap it up tight because we're going to be taking it off. Now I want to come down about this far and put another piece of tape on. That'll, that'll kind of hold it up there for us and just, just get it on there anyway. Out of the way. That'll hold that stable in there so it won't be falling off on us. Now, there's the pencil line right at my finger. And what I'm going to do is get this wrapped around there, get it started, and I'm going to pull it all the way through to that middle that we found. We know when we pull this down, this is going to be... Now then... We're right there about the middle of that. And there's that pencil line. They want to come over here and just tie us a, tie us a simple little slip knot, pull it right through there as we go, just like that. Okay. Now, it don't matter where this loop is. I think this is kind of the back of it. So that... I'll tie that right down there, and that is, this line here is about the back of your stick, let's say. So that's, that's going to be good. There's a pencil mark. So this is going to cover up that pencil mark. So let's just take it right there. We tighten that up. Now I'm going to go under the stick, and like all these knots, getting started is the hardest point of part. Another just another knot on the back side of that. We got that, hold that down solid and just put another one. Just make sure when you tighten it up on there, it's on the that going that direction as far as bring it around. In other words, bring this loop around here, take it tighten it there, not going back toward me. Tighten it there. Make sure that light, that lot knot gets into there. Now we'll tie another knot just like we did. Pull it right on through and move the whole thing through there. Going pretty good. And pull that right down. Right there. And let's Let's just get another one in there, and right on, right on. Now this is a different knot than than I've had before, but I I thought about it and I said, well, I can do this one and get it to stay on that stick, and it will not come off, and it won't have any glue. Don't involve any gluing whatsoever. And you'd think, well, I've seen that knot before. Well, not exactly. The knot may be, but this is how we're going to get it on there without using any glue. That's the trick that you want to know. And I'll just keep on 
keeping on, keep on, keeping on until I get this either run out of paracord here or I get as long as I want it and I just cut, I just stop there. I, I know how long I want it. Looking good so far. Bring it back up the top again and let's tie us another one. See how that just goes right on down the stick like that, see? Right on down the stick. Every once in a while, I kind of stop and run my stick down, thread down this way to get the curl out of it. Cause it will want to curl up on you. Okay. Now let's go right under it. Tie another one. But we're going right on down the stick and right on over again. Another one. Now I'm going to take this tape off. Now see that this tie here is going to hold me up there now. And I'm covering this loop part. I'm covering it up as we go along. I'm right on down the stick. I'm getting short here, but I mean, we've already got a couple inches here. And you see, we just keep tying that knot over and over knot. It gives us a nice lace pattern on here when you get done. It's one of my favorite looking knots. Now you don't want this real dog tight as you're going down through there, or you won't be able to pull your cord back through. Just start off pretty tight and get down to the end. You want to you go a little bit looser because you're going to be pulling that cord back through with this loop. I've, I've practiced a lot of uh, various fair cord uh, wraps for handles. And if you'd like to see that in a future video, let me know. I'm gonna try to release a video through the week on how to do something. Not necessarily related to a walking stick every time, but every Sunday is my walking stick day. I would just love for you to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, Hope I can count on you to do that. Wrap an axe handle or anything this way. It don't have to be a walking stick. Keep that in mind. But anyway, here I am just trying to talk to you while I'm getting this all finalized. We're getting pretty close to the end now. Your two end that you have left over has to end up at this loop. I'm going to pull that down through that loop. I'm going to pull this one back up through the loop like this. And now I'm going to get down here and take this tape off and I'll pull on this cord, tighten up that, tighten up that one, that loop we got. See how that does, see that pull that, boy that pulled it right in there, didn't it? And pull this one out. And what I wanna do is continue pulling and I'm gonna pull that right up under that cord. I pulled it through about three, three wraps here. I'm gonna just cut that off under there and cut it off here now we just got to keep you work with it now getting that there's the knot where it's got the two ends is right about there and your loop is right about here so now you took a screwdriver and kind of worked it and get it up kind of over that knot you can feel it pulling up over that knot and then get a hold of this and pull it again and you see that it close up and pretty soon your two ends are going to disappear they're going to be up under there so we want to pull that a little more now you don't see that end at all and i'm pushing that down and up over that knot is that there's a loop right there that loop is from here and all the way to here but you got that gap right there. Now what you've got it threaded down on there that far, pull it again, and you watch that will close up. Okay, that that got it completely closed up there. When that rope popped out, I was still pulling, and it just pulled right out. That leaves you a total knot around there, and that the two ends are tucked up under there. It's not going to come loose now at all. Now, so I've got the, the back of the sticks where I want the wristband to come out. Just go under here and tie a slip knot here. Now, what you want is to get this one 
under underneath here. So we'll we'll just roll it around and I'm wanting that right there. So now I'll come over the top here and to keep that from coming up or down, I'll stick a screwdriver under there and we'll stick this end under that. Got that over there. I just I just tucked it under a loop here. And that way when I tie it again now, right here, that's not going to slip up or down. I'm just going to tie it right down there. And I'll keep that snug. Tie a square knot in this now. Now that will be a square knot when that tightens up. Now I've got a square knot in that. I'll take this end. And I'm going to go around there. And tie a knot in itself just about just about there gonna be kind of loose don't try to get it too tight then in the same thing I'll wrap around there and I'll tie me another knot and I don't care what kind of a knot you use okay now is when you can tie a knot out in the end of this, we want one that dangles down there. Tie that tight and cut it off. Just right off there now. And then this end, do the same thing. Throw your knot right up on the end of that. And I tie that one real tight. And then you just clip it off real close right there. This has got a slip knot in it now. I need to quit talking here and get the camera turned around and let's put a, a few uh, closing comments. Well, YouTubers, I guess that about wraps up another walking stick. And as you know, uh, if you follow me all the way through here, I even showed you in a previous video, get to where one of these days I can put a link right up above here. And I don't know if I can manage this time, but I'm going to try to put a link to where I showed you how I did these resin pours. This is one of my latest molds that I have, but I'm going to have a link to that down below if it's not up there. But anyway, there's a, there's a crystal skull walking stick. And you see I had a Lachenberg burn called fractal burning and uh, there's a close-up of that left a nice pattern the stick itself is just a crystal skull and if you see my technique of mounting it on the top there you don't see the stick on top of it at all now right here the paragraph that's a new wrap for me i tried showing you how to put the loop in there and then we pulled the, the two end pieces that we end up with back up through there there it is, and there's your there's your loop in there. If you want to tighten that up, you just tighten it right down against your get on your wrist and and go to town with it. But that's a comfortable spot for that loop. That was 18 foot of car a paracord on there, made you five inches of handle. So if you want a little longer than that, uh, you know, go 20, 25 foot. And, and that wouldn't be too bad. That would go down, just go down a little further, but that, I have big hands and that covers my whole hand. And uh, standing back, you see how far that comes to me? I leave them a little long so you can cut them off if you want. And it's gonna measure out a little under 58 inches. And it comes to right here on me. Now I don't make any of them I won't ship any of them over 58 inches. That's my longest one, and that's because of the cost. And if you go over 60 inches, the post office will whoop it on you. So just keep that in mind. You have to stay under 60 inches. Anyway, I think it come out quite nice and interesting. That crystal skull there, it just made a unique and gorgeous walking stick. Now, if you like this video, I want to explain a little bit about what I'd like for you to do. Give me a thumbs up first. And now, 
You can also hit that subscribe button and hit that bell if you want to be notified. You have a little little pop up aside on Sunday morning when I have a video come out. So you can just click on that link right there side of your computer, very handy. Go over and watch my video. And uh, if you don't, uh, if you're too busy, don't want to mess with it, just hit an X there in the corner and, and just close that notification out. And that's all you'll be notified uh, of my uh, of the videos. And that's what that bell's for. So click that subscribe button. Do it now if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up, and I have one more thing to say then. I'll see you in the next video.